Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and this volume we're going to continue on with the Vampire Stake Launcher. We're going to review the silhouette, then we're going to look to use the peel mode in 3D Studio Max to go ahead and start to unwrap all the different uh, elements of the model itself. We're going to get everything situated and, and, and adjusted in the UV editor. We're then going to look to, once we've got everything together, we're going to scale pieces down. We're going to apply a checkerboard uh, texture on the model so we can see as we adjust the UVs how that's reflected on the model itself. We're then going to make sure we space everything out very nicely into the one-to-one -one UV space. We're then going to go ahead and fix a couple little problems we have with our smoothing group before we take the model into ZBrush. We're then going to put on the auto groups and then we're going to arrange the auto groups into different poly groups that we can then split into subtools. Smarter uh, re reallocation of, of items. We're going to review some of the alphas we have available to us that we're going to look, possibly use on the model itself. We're then going to go ahead and start working on the strike hammer. Uh, we're going to use uh, some deformation. We're going to use alphas. We're going to use uh, hand uh, uh, detailed work. And then we're going to go ahead and do a couple of BPRs just to see how it's all looking. So thanks for watching 3dmotive.com and let's go ahead and get started. 